the town, now known as Robbins, NC actually began in 1795 when gunsmith Alexander Kennedy and his family left Philadelphia to settle along Bear Creek. Kennedy set up a factory, which produced long rifles for American soldiers, near the site of the present-day Robbins water plant. The Kennedy Rifle Works continued in operation until 1838 and the place became known American Samoa Mechanics Hill. Kennedy also established what was reputed to have been the largest gun factory in this part of the South in which he worked as many as 75 hands. According to tradition, Kennedy bought part interest in a small gun shop owned and operated by William Williamson after which they ran the concern jointly as Williamson and Kennedy. The finer rifles were said to have been ornamented with silver melted from 16 silver dollars and sold for proportionately higher prices. Large grindstones, which were operated by water power, shaped the barrels into octagonal shape and the metal was drawn out and molded by large trip hammers, also operated by water power. So important did this business become that a post office was established there and names Mechanics Hill. There is a local legend to the effect that Kennedy, weary of paying such a high price for his gun locks which he imported from a New York factory, made a trip on horseback to the latter factory, where he found that the secret method used in making the locks was carefully guarded. Undaunted, he finally wormed his way into the good graces of the workers and operators by his violin music, which they greatly admired. Once inside the shop, he soon discovered the secret involved and returned to Mechanics Hill where he began to make his own. Little else is known of the Sylvan operator other than the fact that he is said to have given the land and borne the expense for the construction of the old Mechanics Hill Baptist Church, the first Baptist church in that section of Moore County. Inside one may still see the narrow, uncomfortable wooden seats, typical of earlier days.